St. Mary's Mission Hospital is a level 5 Catholic hospital situated in Mumia Central Ward, Mumia Swas Sub County in Kakamega County. A quiet heaven away from the hustle and bustle of the city and still easily accessible with connecting roads of frequent public transport. St. Mary's Mission Hospital has a rich history of 85 years, having been started in 1932 by the Aslan Sisters of Beijing, Netherlands, with a holistic goal of providing healthcare service to the poor rural community, hence extending the healing mission of Jesus Christ. The first permanent building was erected in 1960 which now serves as the hospital administration block. In 1983, the Oslin sisters handed over the hospital to the Catholic Diocese of Kakamega. Today, St. Mary's Hospital has a tender metamorphosis in infrastructure, equipment and personnel making it a citadel regional leader in provision of quality, adequate, affordable health care. The facility is well accessible or reached by road from all major towns and by air through Kakamega Airstrip, Kisumu and Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, respectively. Our mandate is to provide preventive and creative care services of good quality and uh, affordable place to all people. Mandate to provide preventive and curative care service of good quality at affordable price for all people in the catchment area. Vision to provide holistic, affordable, equitable, accessible and acceptable health service in a sustainable, community-friendly and cost manner fulfilling the healing mission of Jesus Christ. Mission to be responsible respectful and friendly health institution providing efficient quality and substantial equitable, accessible and acceptable physical and spiritual care to all our clients. St. Mary's slogan, we treat with care, God heals. Uh, management uh, of the hospital is uh, governed by a board of directors that is chosen by Bishop of Kakamega and uh, it's within the hospital day-to-day -day running uh, we have six members of the uh, hospital management team who oversee day-to-day -day running of the hospital uh, in different departments. Gender equality, integrity, discipline, honesty, efficiency, professionalism, meritocracy. These are the core values of St. Mary's Hospital. The hospital is governed by the Diocese of Kakamega through a board of management. The management team consists of medical officers, nursing officer in charge, hospital administrator, principal school of clinical medical. We are at St. Mary's School of Clinical Medicine, which belongs to the Diocese of Kakamega. That was started way back in 1994 under the leadership of Bishop Emeritus Sulumeti. Uh, the school started with a capacity of 20 students, uh, but gradually over the years, because of increasing demands, uh, we have been increasing gradually until now we have a population of around 140 students. Uh, some of the challenges we face is uh, uh, we don't have enough infrastructure. Uh, we have uh, staffs which are very competent and highly qualified and they, they work effectively and efficiently 
And currently we are the best training institution in Kenya as far as clinical officers are concerned. The hospital thrives well in the eight established and functional departments that are headed by a head of department. The department includes administration. The management team uh, generally consists of uh, the medical officer in charge, who is in charge of uh, both medical and clinical services in the hospital. We have the nursing officer in charge, who is in charge of both inpatient inpatient and outpatient clients who are visiting us. We have the hospital administrator who is in charge of the operations and day-to-day -day running of the hospital. We also have the principal school of clinical medicine and we have a finance manager who is in charge of the financial services. Then we have projects coordinator who coordinates all donor-funded projects, projects in the hospital. Medical. I work with seven consultant specialists, five specialists, 20 registered clinic officers, 10 lab uh, personnel, 10 pharmacy, and two x-ray personnel. I also have uh, six uh, medical officers, of whom three are residents, and the other three are uh, local and one resident surgeon. We are able to do a number of uh, procedures in the hospital. Uh, that includes specialized uh, ENT surgeries, specialized uh, surgeries in obstetrics and gynecology, in orthopedics, uh, in uh, gastroenterology. Uh, we are able to uh, do eye surgeries. Nursing, pharmacies. It has 11 dedicated staff and we are open 24 hours. Laboratory. It is a, a lab that is in class E under the medical lab technologist board grading. The laboratory runs 24-7 and provides quick and accurate results of almost all laboratory tests. Theater. It is a theater with two chambers, all of them functional. We may have two cases running at the same time. Uh, the common procedures we usually encounter, we have cesarean section, we have total abdominal hysterectomy, we have prostatectomy, we have aneurophy, and also the orthopedic cases whereby the ORIF, which is an open reduction and internal fixation, and also external fixation, both are done here. We have a specialist in it. Uh, we also have skin graft, amputation and cystostomy, just among others. Morg services. Community based. Some of the activities that we carry out in this department include Jigas campaign and outreaches. We do marketing of the hospital. We also conduct mobile clinics. We do health education in schools and colleges. Healthcare program. No x-ray no, has two personnel that do both ordinary x-rays and uh, sonography. Uh, we also have a specialized sonographer uh, dealing with specialized ultrasounds, Doppler, breast ultrasounds, thyroid ultrasounds, and ultrasound of the prostate. We run uh, clinics every day at the outpatient. Each department has experienced and qualified staff. The hospital has an emergency department ready to tackle any kind of medical urgent needs. The hospital has 350 beds capacity catering for male, female, children, surgical and amenity wards. For today, we have a total number of 38 patients whom we received this morning as per now. We are busy doing our medical ward rounds. Uh, the cases we deal with are uh, surgical cases, those are patients who have been operated, patients who have been involved in road traffic accidents, and patients who have sustained burn injuries. This unit is uh, a complex where we have the antenatal, labor and delivery, postnatal and newborn unit services.
we have a capacity of 49 patients 46 beds and three baby cots at the moment we have a total of 27 patients 20 active patients and seven discharges in who are awaiting to to pay and go home this translates to an estimated 65,000 patients per year. Outpatient services are on alternate days, Monday to Friday. We also have specialized clinic attended to or organized by high qualified specialized staff. This is Maternal Child Welfare Clinic of St. Mary's Hospital. Uh, this is the department whereby we deal with mothers right from the time of conception and we take care of them through up to the time of delivery. We offer services such as antenatal care. During the doctors and nurses strike, the hospital becomes a beacon of hope in surcharging the desperate patients in government hospitals. Basically, in our department, we do inpatient and outpatient services. We do assessment, we do counseling. We have even the demons here, food demonstration that we are using to educate them. The hospital has time and again experienced challenges along its quest to deliver quality health care services. Sometimes back the government used to second some uh, doctors and uh, professionals in the hospital. But after the variation of uh, medical services, the county government withdrew all the seconded staff by the central government. So at the moment we employ all our personnel, there is no seconded the, uh, staff in the hospital. Most notable challenges include staff constraint, more so in the nursing department, defaults on service offered to clients, inadequate resource for major capital investment, shorted and irregular supply of essential supplies, lack of the limiting policies on governance and management scoops, weakening public-private partnership due to changes brought about by the devolution of healthcare services, dwindling fortunes of the local community occasioned by the imminent collapse of the local sugar industry, Mumia's Sugar. Here at St. Mary's Hospital, we provide preventive and curative care service of good quality and affordable price for all people in the catchment area. We treat with care. God heals. Thank you for watching.